I'm gonna try to drive as many trains as I can. Let's test out the horn. That's a weird sound. <laughs> Is that multi-track drifting? Jumping the fire! So here's what it looks like when you're actually driving the NS Vermem. You can have a nice uh, F5 view of it. So I just spawned in some more locomotives. And here it looks like a nice like bar area. That's pretty cool. So that is sort of like a runaway train. Wow, will you look at that? I don't know how this train actually made it, but there's apparently like a missing section over here. You can actually change how long the... And for this train, I actually didn't add in the end car, so you know, you can have trains just driving with like the door wide open like this, you know. Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're back here in the Immersive Railroading mod, where we're going to take a look at the Voxel Train's new update. They have version number 3, where they added a lot more trains, specifically a lot of Netherlands Spoolwagen, which is like the Dutch railway. We have a lot of them here, but some other cars as well. So since they added a lot of Dutch trains in the update, I decided to all like line them up on these tracks over here in the station. This is the NS tracks. So it's like a locomotive and you can use this to pull and push coaches. Then right over here we have some EMUs. These are some bi-level. So here we have the NS Verm M and then here we have the original NS DD IRM. See, they are quite similar, but they're actually different since this NS Verm, they actually modified it, so it's a lot longer than that. Plus, you know, the door color is different. That one's blue, while this one is yellow. And let's actually go inside. So to go inside, you just right-click, and then you can go inside the cab. They have a bunch of detail inside. Um, but they also have interior detail where the passenger cars are. You see they have a lot of detail. Here's, like, the internal compartments. So to start up, you just press the plus sign and the number pad, and then you turn up the throttle up. So let's go. And there also is like a bell here. I don't know if the NS Firm has a bell, but there it is. <laughs> so here's what it looks like when you're actually driving the NS Verm M. Very nice. You can have a nice uh, F5 view of it if you want to see the outside of it. And I was really excited for this update since, you know, I think this would be a fun train to drive. And let's actually go in reverse. So to go in reverse, you just turn the throttle the other direction, but it takes a while. So you get to turn on the brake here. Throttle, go in the other direction. So as this train is moving, you can walk between the cars and that's pretty cool. I don't know how they did it, but now I'm on like top floor of it. It just teleported me, weird. Yeah, let's keep on going. And it sort of like teleports you when you're doing this. All right, and apparently stopped because we ran into the Kaploper, which is another train that I put in here, so they automatically couple. All right, so next up, we're gonna try out the NS tracks. So this is an electrical locomotive. They have also roof detailing, which is very nice. One raised pantograph. So let's just go inside the cab here, turn on the locomotive, turn up the throttle, hopefully. All right, now it's rolling. I'm gonna try to drive as many trains as I can in this mod because I know in the last mod apparently I forgot but oh no we're gonna crash into that no phew that was a near collision I don't know if it actually hit it or not or did I just did I just miss it all right so next we're gonna try out the NS 1700 another locomotive so start it up turn up the throttle oh, it's going the wrong direction so you gotta put on the brakes and let's go throttle the other way <laughs> so we're gonna go Head straight towards that one. Oh no, we're going way too fast. I am pretty awful at driving. All right, so we connected it and apparently those cars weren't connected so I'm going off totally wrong. All right, so that is really weird. Now all of a sudden it's like, is that multi-track drifting? I think it is. Yeah, you can actually multi-track drift. I didn't really do this intentionally but somehow it connected it on two tracks and then it goes back. This doesn't really make any sense but I guess it just collided with the other locomotive here. All right, so next up, let's try out the Kaploper. This is the NSICM. Uh, they have a really high cab over here. Let me look at the back detailing. So you can see you can go along like the top level of this. Uh, I don't see you know, like lights on, so it's kind of dark. Okay, this one's actually a lot brighter. So I think I noticed like between cars, like the whole car depends on the brightness you can see right there that's a little difference um, I don't know if that's just like shaders or something so let's turn it on first the brakes on this pretty high and let's turn on the throttle to make a random bell sound is there like a horn 
Wow, the horn actually works. It just sounds like a recording though. So here we are driving the NS Kaploper now. We're uh, heading out the station. I could see there. What is that behind us? So there goes the NS Kaploper along with uh, the NS Verm that we were driving earlier. They're all like connected together. So that is sort of like a runaway train. Let me see what it looks like when you're in the inside of one of these by level cars you can look at the scenery in my last video the maker of the map he actually recommended that i make my trains go a lot slower since apparently i was going way too fast wow will you look at that i don't know how this train actually made it but there's apparently like a missing section over here is that glitched or what i have no idea that's completely missing that's weird but you know it still actually ran across so that's cool Alright, so let's try out this train. This is an S-Bahn Berlin uh, BR481. I've never seen this train in my life, but, you know, that's what it looks like. I think that's a, like a bicycle sign here on the side. Alright, so let's go inside. Here's what the cab looks like. It's actually very, very small here. So let's turn it on. Let's go backwards. Alright, it's connected. Now it can go forward. Uh, yeah, we can drive this train all the way back to the station. While I was driving the train back, it... Alright, never mind, it's going in another direction. Here's what the interior looks like. They have uh, folded up seats, and um, railings over here, handlebars, regular seating. Alright, I'm starting to think that I assembled this car wrong, because there's like a whole windshield right over here in the middle. This one looks more normal though. So let's go stop at that station, so I'm gonna turn my throttle. Turn off the brake. Alright, so I just spawned in some more locomotives. So this right here is a BR143. And here is a 146. And they're both made by... Uh, you can actually see like who actually made these. Uh, like this one's Captain Skipper. And yeah, this one's Slender MC. And a lot of the NS trains uh, by a guy named Foxy. Which is pretty interesting because I'm crafty Fox. We're all, we're all foxes in here. Alright, so let's go take a look at what the detailing looks like. So look on the side, the DB logo here, very nice, and they also have like the roof detailing, also with the pantograph up. And here's the other one, so this one is a different railroad. And uh, let's actually go inside, you know, I don't think I'll run like every single train all around the map. Alright, so apparently that's what their horn sounds like. Alright, so there's like a weird square in the middle of this one. Alright, let's try the other one, what does this horn sound like? For the horn to work. Okay, this horn, it sounds exactly the same. Alright, so let's try to find some other locomotives. Here we have the BB8500 Verdi. So inside of it, this is what it looks like. Uh, they, this guy actually added a lot more detailing here in this middle section, so that's quite cool. I don't know what that is exactly though. So that's what the horn sounds like. It sounds a lot better than the other ones. Alright, so let's try this one. And this is a lot of green inside. This one's more like a steam sounding whistle. Oh, this one also does have like an interior. Here we got a couple more trains. So I think this one is a Spanish one. This is BLS here on the side. And here's what the interior looks like. A lot of cab detail, but not so much here in the middle. And that sounds a lot like the other one. So there's also this coach right over here. It's like a dirty coach. And it has a lot of dirt and grime in it. See, it's pretty weathered. And there's basically a two cars to this. Let's look on the inside what it looks like. So here's what it looks like inside. Uh, got a nice little uh, door window here. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Like a garbage can or a fold-up seat uh, valve there. Here's what the seating looks like. It looks like a bunch of like chocolate bars, to be honest. Curtains here on the side and a nice luggage rack on top. Another new thing added was this Union Pacific Dome car. And it is the Challenger. I believe it's like the 119. Here's what it looks like on the interior. Very nice. Let's go down over here this hallway. Uh, there's like a staircase up over there. And Bosk, who's the designer behind this, and the Union Pacific stuff, including that big boy right over there. We'll get to that later. He actually updated the tenders, so here's what it looks like right now. Uh, looks a lot more detailed, and this truck is not on the track for some reason. Hopefully that can get fixed. Um, here's like the top detailing, and there also is like two versions of this tender here. So I believe this one is the new one, 
and right over there that is the old one so you can see they have a slightly different and perhaps design as well as on the roof but they should be the same car number see nice chains very nice all right so now we're gonna move on to the big boy the big boy also was upgraded so one thing you could do in this mod is sometimes if there's like other colors you can uh, right click it and change color so you know you can switch between that so there is a lot of like variations of this big boy that I showed you before. All right, so I think my favorite one though is just like this uh, white line that goes across. All right, so it's a little hard to get inside the shed, so I'm just gonna have to drive this big boy out. Here's what the interior looks like. I feel like I haven't seen this before. It looks a lot better. All right, so let's go drive this guy out. I don't know which part you're gonna sit, so I think this side is a little better for me. And uh, let's move out of here. Whoa, a bunch of steam just came out. And we're moving out. It's not making that much noise. But it actually is pretty cool to see since it does have moving valve gears. Of course, steamy out. Come on, I need to get the tender out here. I wonder if you can change the color scheme while it's on the move. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can. So I'm just gonna keep it like this color. So right now I'm gonna try to get the big boy just to attach to the other cars, do a little bit of uh, railroad simulation. So let's go. Uh, oh no, that's the bell. I guess we can turn on the bell too. The horn should be the enter. Oh. Well, that's pretty nice. You can actually change how long the... Never mind, it's a whistle, not a horn. <laughs> but yeah, you can change the duration of the whistle depending on how long you hold it for. Oh, I could just make it go on forever, that's pretty nice. Alright, so I think we are pretty much where we want to be. So I'm gonna put on brake. And uh, I need to actually change this switch right over here that we just left out of that roundhouse. So you just toggle regular Minecraft switch and it should um, go straight now. And let's go backwards, throttle. All right, so moving, oh, we're going way too fast, I think. <laughs> Let me put up my brake a little bit because I think that is probably too fast. I don't know how far, okay, let's go brake. All right, so I'm gonna try going back really slowly like they do in real life because we want to be realistic. Uh, just turn off throttle. Let's see if it connects. Please connect. You should hear, yeah, a nice clicking sound. And now it should be connected and now we can go forward, right? I don't know. I don't think the all last car is connected, so we're gonna have to go back again. That happens a lot, you know. You have to make sure all the cars are connected. Alright, I think that should be connected. We just heard another clunk sound. And, no, you gotta put on the brake. By whatever this place is. I wonder if like the design of the valve gear changes as well. I feel like it's a little bit different. Alright, let's go past all these European trains. <laughs> this is the only American train we have. Um, at least in this review, I think, because this is pretty much it. Oh yeah, let's turn off that bell. That's kind of annoying. Alright, so we're approaching some kind of a city, so I'm gonna turn... I'm gonna turn on the brake a bit, because I think we're going a little bit too fast. Choo-choo! Alright, I think that should be a station right over there. I'm gonna try to park it in there. Let's go a little bit faster. Let's go all the way faster. Alright, never mind, that was not a station, that was actually just a bridge. I don't know how far the stations are on this map. Uh, okay, apparently we're turning on to here. This looks like a station, so let's, let's uh, turn down the throttle a bit. Very nice neighborhood here. It actually is maybe a little bit better in first person just to look around at least. Uh, yeah, let's just stop over here. Yeah, I don't think the steam turns off, so it's just going to stay like that. Shh. Yeah, you can see inside a the smokestack, there's actually some depth into that. That's really nice. And of course, all these piping detail are really interesting to look at. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at this train. This is the SNCF, which is probably French. Uh, X2200. It's the John A. I usually say stuff really wrong, and then someone in the comments gets really mad. <laughs> but here's what the interior looks like. It looks like some kind of a... It's almost like a EMU, but there's only one electrical unit. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Oh, this goes pretty fast. Uh, acceleration here. 
Oh, is that running on smoke? There's like smoke coming out of it, so. Is that like a diesel? Let's test out the horn. Well, that's a nice horn. It actually goes on for quite a bit longer than the other horns that I've tried. Yeah, Dolphin told me again, you know. I'm mean, alright, so I'm gonna lay it off on the throttle a bit so you guys can look at scenery outside some kind of like a industrial area, I don't know, some kind of factory there. Alright, so the train suddenly stopped and that is because we actually ran out. <laughs> If this is a real life incident, you know, I would be screwed. This train would be in the ocean. But luckily, this is Minecraft. We were able to just crash into that seawall. That would have been a disaster. You know what? Let's see what happens if I actually, like, can I actually run into the ocean? And I'm just gonna try to make this go into the ocean. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we're gonna test how the VGB Cobra deals with falling off the ledge. I'm not sure how immersive railroading physics works. It looks like some kind of like a light rail tram. So I just connected it uh, together. And here's what the interior looks like if you're wondering what this is exactly. It's kind of reminds me of like a bus, but let's go turn it on. Go forward, throttle. All right, let's go. I don't know, but for some reason it won't really move that much. So you know what? Let's just try to get a, like a locomotive to push this off. And let's see. We can push this guy off. He actually wants to save his own skin, so should I turn this guy on? Let's go. Off the cliff. I don't know, I guess it doesn't want to. It's like... It's really against this, so apparently that does not really work too well. Let's see what happens if I just delete this guy. Do they, uh... No, it's like some kind of break is on. How about we just put the locomotive itself? Oh, the locomotive, it just... Bruh. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Apparently, the locomotive just stops right when it's about to fall off the ledge. I mean, it's sort of off the ledge here, but it doesn't want to continue all the way. Alright, so another train we're going to test out is this SBB. It's called a Trans Rapid, and uh, I don't know, it looks like an interesting design. I don't know if it's like a monorail, kind of looks like a monorail. Or like, not a monorail, like a maglev, I mean, that runs on a monorail. So let's turn on. I'm going to go a little bit backwards so they connect with the other cars. Let's go forward a bit. All right, so we're moving along. Very nice view. Uh, let's turn down the throttle a little bit. Um, so here's what the interior looks like. There's like a secondary desk for, I don't know, co-pilot? Oh, there's like another desk. There's three desks here. Is that weird? It's like a control room of sorts. Uh, like a little panel here. Here's what the coach looks like. Uh, they have like these three seats bundled up on each side. It's actually quite wide for a train. Some more folded up seats here, I think. Uh, maybe uh, there's a bathroom here somewhere. Uh, there also is the Swiss, because, you know, SBB is in Switzerland. And they speak so many different languages there, so there's a lot of acronyms. SBB, CFF, you know, and here it looks like a nice, like, bar area. That's pretty cool. So I can sit over here or in the bar and, I don't know, get meals, perhaps, snacks. And there's also some nice couches, designs. Yeah, nice uh, interior, basically. And for this train, I actually didn't add in the end car, so, you know, you can have trains just driving with, like, the door wide open like this, you know. Hi! Oh no, we stopped. I don't know why. Maybe you crashed into something. Looks like we crashed into the big boy that was here earlier. And if you guys were wondering what the horns of these sound like, let's go test it out. Where we have the Kaploper. Let's see. So that's just nice. In short, not too long. And then we have the DDIRM. Gotta turn it on first. What the heck is that? That's a weird sound. <laughs> do, do, do. Well, that's it for that one. Uh, let me test out uh, this one right over here, the locomotive. I think it's like a 1700. All right, this sounds exactly like the ICM Kaploper. All right, so for the Verm M, let's see. And the NS Verm M, it has the same exact weird sound noise. 
I don't know, is the train supposed to sound like duh, duh, duh? <laughs> Is that normal, Dutch people? Let me know in the comment section down below if that's an accurate sound. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of the Voxel Train version number 3 resource pack. I know there is a ton of more content that I probably missed in this video. There's just way too much stuff to fit in one video, you know, it take a really long time. But if you want me to make more videos of the Voxel Train resource pack and maybe other immersive railroading resource packs, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. And if this video gets enough attention, you know, I might consider doing another video on the Voxel Train's resource pack. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.